What's up everybody, your boy Juan Valdez coming at you guys with a brand new video and today I'm going to be going over some of the problems that beginner dropshippers usually run into. Now for those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome to the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society is out for us to do. If you can relate, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. To kind of get started, uh, the reason why I decided to make this video is because I do get a ton of you guys reaching out through all social media, asking me all these different questions. So I figured I'd put together a video that, you know, kind of can benefit obviously a lot of people that are just getting started you know the reason i put together this video is based on my experience and things that could have helped me if i knew it you know when i was in the e-commerce business either when i was first getting started or even if you know when i was just starting to see results what kind of problems do beginner drop shippers usually run into usually it's like a, a storm right you have all these different things that happen because obviously you're super excited to start your business but you have all these different things that need to get done before obviously you can start getting the results that you're looking for one of the main problems that i see a lot of beginner dropshippers run into is that they don't learn from the right resources and that is a huge problem and mistake because what can happen is if you don't learn from the right resources the information that you're going to be utilizing is going to determine whether you get results or you don't right so you want to make sure that you're learning from people that have results not only in the past but up to date and i'm not trying to knock any youtuber out there anybody else that obviously makes shopify drop shipping videos there's some people that are dropping videos that don't really have the numbers to show for it so you want to make sure that who you're learning from has the results that you're actually looking for because i know there's a ton of people here on youtube that are recording these videos but just because you see these people recording these videos and giving you guys this advice doesn't really mean that it's even working for them or even working overall what i want to let you guys know is that the things that we're going over or that i'm going over with you guys are strategies and things that i'm implementing into my e-commerce and drop shipping business up to date right so i'm going to go onto my shopify app i'm going to pull it up for you guys right if i pull it up you can see up to date this is the results for the month so far right so you can see it right here 47k for the month and we're just halfway through the month we just crossed the halfway mark it's february 17th and that is all automated at this point i barely work on my e-commerce business because i've now grown a team that helps me run it and maintain it i check in to monitor make sure everything is good but i don't do much work in it so all that is pretty much automated right the reason why you want to make sure you're learning from people that have results in the present and right now is because in business and marketing things are always changing consistently right what happens us as humans we get used to seeing you know ads promotions and all these different you know marketing tactics and what happens is after we see them so much we get numb to them and there's some things that end up not working on us you know for example you may see specific drop shipping ad like the free plus shipping set up a specific way that was working a few years back but now so many people have seen it because it's been running for such a long time that you know they're not responding to it anymore the same way they used to so now you have to find new ways to put a spin on it so it can actually work so if you're learning from people that don't have results in the present then again it could limit the results that you could be getting there's always going to be basics that you need and you will have to implement into your shopify drop shipping business but you also want to make sure you have the cutting edge strategies right you don't want, only want to limit yourself to the basics because if you do you're going to be limiting yourself and you're going to be looking at basic results and that's not what we're going for you guys are here watching my videos because again you want to get more than basic results we don't want to do the whole basic thing we're not trying to be average we're trying to 10x baby let's go i'm actually a huge fan of these because i don't have too much sugar you guys know your boy tries to stay fit so you know i'm saying i got the guns i've been working i've been crushing the gym and i also got a brand new haircut you guys probably see that for any beginner i recommend for anyone just getting started for you guys to start off with free youtube content the reason why i recommend that is because you know on youtube you can pick up a lot of the basic stuff and literally start you know getting the basic things that you need to have set up in your business you know you can start learning that for free that's awesome i'm huge on that right that's obviously why you guys are watching my videos right now what you also want to do is make sure you're taking advantage and you're learning from books right obviously you guys know that i'm huge on learning from mentors conferences books courses all that great stuff right books now for there's no specific e-commerce and drop shipping books but i do love to read marketing and psychology books because again one of the biggest parts of your e-commerce business is marketing and marketing is pretty much a lot of it is psychology so obviously you want to stay up to date and learn the things that are working in our time not things that have just worked before but also you know up to date so psychology books i'm a huge fan on it after you learn from books you want to transition into learning from advanced training like courses coaching one-on-one -on -one, mentoring whatever the case may be and usually this is going to 
cost you guys so you're gonna have to invest into either again courses or coaching or any kind of mentoring but you want to do that and the reason why is because usually when you pay for more advanced training that's where the real sauce is because usually what happens is people you know, like to package together these packages for whatever they have to offer maybe it's a course or whatever the case may be and they put in everything they have inside because it helps them if you get results and you're able to use you as a testimonial right same thing you guys know that i've mentioned we me and my business partners we put together the p2p drop shipping accelerator right it's a course now i'm not saying this just to try to sell you guys on it if you guys you don't want to get it there's a link in the description but again if you don't that's fine i'm just recommending what i would do because this is how i learned usually everybody puts in all the goods in their courses and their more advanced training because obviously people are paying for it and they know that if people pay for something and they don't get you know their, their money's worth they're going to want to refund and obviously they're going to want to not do any business with you because of course they're not getting any value from it so of course nobody's going to want to put out a training have people come in not get any value and you know have people have a bad taste in their mouth from coming into a course that has no value so of course that's why i recommend getting more advanced training because usually you can get a lot more of like the real you know the real nitty and gritty of the things that are actually going to work to get you guys the results you're looking for it makes sense if you know if someone gets really good at a skill and they master it and they're able to get results and you know make money with that skill you know and somebody else wants to learn it why shouldn't somebody else pay to learn to make money that's exactly what happens when we go to school, right? We pay to learn some skill so that we can then get a job to make money. It's the same process, except with an online business that you know gives you guys more freedoms. I'm not only all for you know learning from more advanced training and courses, things like that, because I, I have a course, but because that's where I learned from and that's what has gotten me the results and the success that I have so far. You know, and this is again a problem that beginners run into because they don't do these things, right? They pretty much try to learn from only YouTube, 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 no courses, and try to get results, and then they do so they get discouraged. You you want to make sure you you know go youtube advanced training and then what you want to try to do is get involved and go to and attend live in-person training right like seminars conferences those are huge because again you get to learn cutting-edge strategies that are happening you know up to date right now and you also get to network and meet like-minded individuals which is huge because if you can meet more people in your industry to exchange value it's going to shorten your learning curve because again you're going to get to learn from people that have results and things like that another huge problem that a lot of beginner drop shippers go through is that they think about drop shipping as a get rich quick scheme and that is a huge mistake and also a problem for multiple reasons that we're going to go through and figure out why the reason why this is a problem is because people that come and think about it as a just get rich quick scheme and that's it they'll come in start drop shipping they'll give it a try for a week and then they'll stop they'll get discouraged right away and of course since they just thought about it as a get rich quick scheme they won't even bother with it anymore and that's obviously a problem because again it'll keep you back from trying over and over again until you actually get the results you're looking for it'll keep you back from doing that you know i lost money before i even broke even and that's just how normal businesses are right a majority of businesses you know usually don't make money from the jump right they're usually negative then they work their way up on you know breaking even and then they're profitable there's some businesses that don't make money you know within their first five years so the fact that you can come in and actually be profitable with e-commerce and dropshipping in a few months is honestly incredible and huge because there's businesses that up to date they've been around for years and aren't profitable yeah it's crazy i know you want to make sure that again you think about when you first get started don't get discouraged if you lose a few bucks a few hundred bucks or whatever how much money you lose up front it happened to the best of us when i first got started i barely had any money and i lost money and i still kept going if you do decide to come in and you think about it as a just get rich quick scheme you're not going to stay engaged in the business so what's going to happen is if you're not engaged whenever you have a rough time where you're not making any sales you lose money or where things are just aren't going good for you you're going to immediately give up because you're thinking about this as just a get rich quick scheme and that's it you're not seeing the bigger picture you're not thinking about the potential opportunity and the growth that you can have within e-commerce and drop shipping so that's why it's a problem for people to come in and you know, for the people that come in and think about job shipping as a get rich quick scheme, that's a huge problem. The next part I wanted to kind of clarify is every single business in the world needs two things, right? They all need sales and they all need marketing. If you guys can master all the skill sets and to really get results with it, you're going to have a skill set that basically is going to lead to you have always have an opportunity forever, right? And the reason why is, you know, after you run an e-commerce business and you're able to get results, you can then use the same skill sets you have to you know work with other business owners and do these other things where you can open up another uh income stream for yourself literally using the same skill sets that you use for your e-commerce business crazy right yeah, yeah yeah exactly so that's why 
you know you want to make sure that you master these skills because again you're going to be able to do a lot more than just running an e-commerce business business and drop shipping products you're going to be able to use the skill sets that you have to launch any new potential businesses you have in mind because now you know how to market products you know how to drive traffic how to make websites all that stuff you're going to be able to work with other business owners if they don't already have a website if they don't know how to drive traffic and you know those are just two simple other opportunities that you guys can have with the skill sets within e-commerce that i just went over basically you know these are some of the biggest mistakes i see people going through when first getting started in e-commerce and drop shipping i thought i would make this video for obviously a lot of you guys that are just getting started so you guys can get value and you know avoid some of these problems that a lot of people are running into but also maybe you guys that are having e-commerce for a little while also for you guys right in case you're doing some of these things you know this is a way you can prevent it I'm only sharing with you guys things that I think would be beneficial for me if I was just getting started or I was already in the middle of e-commerce, you know, things that I would get benefit from. So again, if you guys got any value from this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave me a like on the video. Of course, if you have any questions on anything that we covered, drop a comment below. I try to answer as many questions as I can, of course, uh, in a timely manner. And if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.